All right, well, I hope you stick with me to the end of the video while I'll do some cool experiments with a blue burning laser that I got on eBay. First, let's make a little stand for it. It comes with its own shipping container, but I figured, eh, make just a real basic stand. So we'll just start out with, uh, with making some brackets for it to rest on. So I'm going to use some calipers to decide how big of a Forstner bit I can cut that out with. And then I just take it over and I cut them down, make things a little uh, easier on the drill press there. I had this bright idea of doing a scroll saw gear, but honestly, it didn't look right. Once I was done with it, I said, you know what? I need to file this thing away for another day. So I filed it. And this is what I came up with, something a little more simplistic so that it will uh, raise it up at an angle when I attach it. So to unify the color, I just gave it a little spray paint and then in front I mounted this board. Just brought it over to the bandsaw and uh, just to trim it out a little bit. I mean, it's supposed to be kind of a rough look, but this, this trimmed it out a little bit. Alright, let's set it up. We're going to start first with the uh, uh, the okay, military grade burning blue laser. Uh, the next thing I want to put in there is the uh, glasses case. You need to have these red uh, lenses so that you don't burn out the retina in your eye. And I got a battery charger and these little nozzles which give you cool kind of special effects on the wall. I think now that it's all set up and looks cool, I think it's time to give it a test. Alright, let's play around with it. All right, so I've lined up three of these matches, and we're going to just shoot it towards the head of the match, and and the third one ignites with no problem. Will it burn wood? Well, of course it will. You can actually sign your name to something, just having fun with it, and there's a little smiley face. Now let's play around with some of these nozzles that I was talking about. They give you some cool FX effects here. You just screw them in and, well, here you go. Now I feel like I'm in a first-person shooter game. Call of Duty or something, I don't know. You know, I'm amazed that even in the middle of the day, you can see this thing all like a half a mile away. So anyways, I got this on eBay. Here's the specs on it. If you search that out, you should be able to find it. Again, thanks for watching. This is Chris from TDW Woodworks. Have a great day.